Woo. What's up, what's up everyone? Coach Dan back again for day 119 of our at-home OTF workouts. Today's workout has a total body focus. So this is a really well-rounded and complete workout, guys. Great structure. We're using a lot of full body dynamic movements. Definitely going to get that heart rate up, but also working some strength and some power as well. I would love to hear your feedback on this. Let me know how you get on. As always, we love seeing your posts on social media. Remember our hashtag, I can, I will. You also have the opportunity to do this class live on Zoom, 10 a.m. with Coach Izzy. So make sure you get on that. Either way, guys, have a great one. See you soon. If you want something you've never had before, you're gonna to have to do some things that you've never done before. Change is gonna happen when you challenge yourself every single day. Hello, Orange Nation. My name is Jill Anzalone, and I am coming at you from just outside of Boston, Massachusetts. I'm representing my home studio, Orange Theory Fitness in Medway. I wanna give a quick shout out to all my family at OTF Medway. Super excited to be here with you today. Myself, Coach Keith, and Coach Beth, We've got a total body workout coming your way. We're gonna get you warmed up with a dynamic warm up. It is four minutes long. You have four exercises, one minute each exercise. First move, if you have a mat or a towel, put it down on the ground to give you a little bit extra cushion. T-spine rotation. You're gonna be down on all fours. You want your knees stacked with your hips and your wrists stacked below your shoulders. Relax your feet. Laces of your shoes should be on the ground. You're gonna have one hand planted firmly onto the mat. The other fingertips are gonna come behind your ear. You're going to rotate down towards the ground and then back up towards the ceiling, working our thoracic spine. With every rep, you should be looking to see if you can increase your range of motion. We'll do 30 seconds on one side, we'll switch, we'll do 30 seconds on the other side. Next move, plank to pike. You're gonna come into the high plank position. Again, your wrists are gonna be stacked below your shoulders. Drop your hips, nice tight core. You're gonna push your body back into a downward dog position and then return back to the starting position. We're really working our calves, our hamstrings. Your shoulders are getting a little action as well. You're there for a minute. Next move, five point squat. Feet are gonna be about hip width apart. You're gonna fold forward, fingertips beneath your shoes if you can. Take it to a squat, arm, arm, drive through the heels, squeeze your glutes. So fold forward, squat down, arm, arm, stand and squeeze. Your last move, jumping jacks. You're here for a minute, so take it at your own pace. But remember, this last exercise is meant to jack your heart rate up a little bit, get your blood pumping before we start our workout. Arms and legs go out. If you need an option, you can step it side to side. Make up your mind what you're searching for. Sticky clay is a vein. Do you see a name in light? Make up your mind what you're searching for. Is it money? Is it something like freedom? Nothing against myself, but I can be. Take back Everyone's got a little bit of magic 
We don't have to do anything special today. Let's just be consistent and focus on getting 1% better today. Hey, Orange Nation. This is Coach Keith from Fort Wayne, Indiana. So big shout out to my Fort Wayne studio. Also big shout out to all my Indianapolis studios. Hope all is well with you guys. So quick rundown for block number one today. It'll be a seven minute block. We have four exercises for today, all right? First lift is gonna be a neutral full thruster. All right, so I want you guys to grab two objects, uh, heavy to medium, light weight, all right? You're gonna let those weights Rest on your shoulders, all right? You're gonna go all the way down on a squat, and then you're gonna drive up into a shoulder press at the very top, reset. Big focus here, make sure you're breathing in on the way down, breathe out at the very top, all right? Options wise, you can limit that range of motion on the squat, and then drive up. So make sure you're using your legs to help you out as you drive that weight above your head. Also, be cautious with the weight as you're driving up. So, we'll do that for 20 seconds. Give yourself a 10 second recovery. You'll move on, you'll go hip hinge, Y raise, all right? So go a little bit lighter. So make sure you're hinging at the hip, like at the bottom of a deadlift, and then you're going Y raise at the same time, all right? Make sure that core stays engaged, and then that Y raise, just like on the T-Rex strap, just drive up and make sure you squeeze that mid back for me, all right? So give me 10 repetitions there, and then you'll move on. We'll go push up with a rotation, all right? So you'll be in a push up position. Make sure those palms are right underneath your armpits, all right? We're gonna give me a push up, and then go rotate up, come back down, there's one, Push up and then rotate up. Your option will be dropping down to the knees for me. So push up and then rotate up. Come back down, push up and then rotate up to the opposite side. So you'll be there for a total of 10 repetitions. All right, our last lift of the block will be a plank, hip rock. So you're on your forearms. Make sure those elbows are right underneath your armpits. And then you're just trying to tap that hip to the opposite side and then you're rotating as so. You'll be there for 10 Total repetitions, all right? Let's get after the Orange Nation. Let's get a little bit better today, all right?
inspiring those around you without you even knowing it. So keep on moving. Hello, Orange Theory. Coach Beth here from New Hampshire. Now that we've got block one under our belt, we're heading to block number two, which is 10 minutes. We've got four exercises. Round number one will be a minute, and then you'll take 15 seconds off each round. You're going to need one object. You also could do a, the whole thing body weight if you chose. First exercise will be that plank walkout. If my feet fall right underneath those hips, I'm going to stand strong as I walk myself out, feet slightly bent, hands fall underneath those shoulders in the high plank position, and I'm gonna walk myself right back up to that strong stance. So as you're walking out, be cognizant of your uh, back, making sure that the core is engaged, take this one nice and slow. The option, just bend those knees a little bit as you take yourself out, and you can go right into those knees for a knee plank as well. Second exercise will be that front jack. This is when you can use a weighted object or body weight as well. The object's gonna start right at your chest. As you push the weight out, the legs go out. And you're gonna make it nice and smooth, light on your feet. I can take an option as just as a tap out. Third is gonna be your burpee. Same starting position. Pretend you're almost going down into a squat. Hands go down, feet go out nice and wide, feet come in wide, give it a jump at the top. So make sure again, as you're going out to that plank position, that you're setting yourself up really strong. Fourth and final bicycle, fingertips, right underneath your ears, leg goes out straight. As you bring the opposite knee in, you're gonna lead that shoulder right to that opposite knee. Try to avoid leading with the elbow. Option, bring those legs a little bit higher. All right, Orange Theory, you have 10 minutes. I need four rounds, start with a minute, take 15 seconds off. You guys can go ahead and start.
You don't have to be extreme to get the results you want. You just have to be consistent. Hey guys, Coach Jill here from Orange Theory Fitness in Midway, Massachusetts. I'm super excited to bring to you guys block number three. It is a seven minute total body block. You're gonna need a mat, a towel, and a medium to heavy object. You're gonna see four exercises in this block. Single arm ground to press, Y squat with a towel, half kneeling tricep extension, and we finish it off with weighted crunches. Now how this block is gonna work, you're gonna perform four rounds of the single arm ground to press. Each round will be 20 seconds. You'll get a 10 second rest in between and we'll alternate sides every round. From there, we'll finish the block by repeating the last three exercises at 10 reps a piece until time is called. Let's get started, let's look at the moves. Single arm ground to press. You're gonna want your medium to heavy object. Your feet are gonna be about hip width apart. Roll your shoulders back and down, pull your belly button right to your spine. You're gonna lower down into the squat. As you come up, drive through the heels, press the object right up into the ceiling. This move works lower body power as well as core stabilization. Your option, you can lighten up on your weight. You can also reduce your range of motion in the squat. Next move, Y squat with the towel. You're gonna grab your towel the long way, hold the ends of it. Feet are a little bit wider than your hips. You're gonna push back into your squat as you do. Your arms are gonna come up into the Y position. Drive through the heels, keep your arms in that Y position, stand and squeeze your glutes at the top of the movement. Your option on this one is to reduce your range of motion in the squat. Next move, you're gonna want your mat for this one. Half kneeling tricep extension. One knee is gonna be down on the mat, the other knee is gonna be bent. Nice proud posture, belly button to spine, that's gonna reduce any arching in the back that we may see. Arms go up over your head, elbows nice and tight to your forehead. You're gonna lower the weight down, squeeze your triceps at the top of the motion, keeping your core engaged at all times. Your option for this movement is to lighten up the object or weight that you're using. We finish it off with weighted crunches. Keep that mat and that weighted object, lower down into the crunch position, tuck your heels tight, you're gonna have that object right by your chest. Eye gaze, right up to the ceiling. Slow, intentional movements with this one. We're really working your stabilizer muscles. Every time you crunch up, exhale, lower down nice and slow. Your option, lose the object and just give me a body weight crunch.
Remember why you started. Keep that in the back of the mind, and let's finish strong. Hey, Orange Nation, we're on our fourth and final block of the day, so let's make sure we're finishing strong here, okay? So it'll be a four-minute block. We're going to shoot for four rounds as well, all right? Just a Tabata format. We're going 20 seconds of work, and then give yourself a 10-second recovery. We only got two exercises right here as well for you, okay? First one's going to be a bear plank kick through. So you're in a bear crawl position for me. So make sure we're slightly bent at the knee. We're going to kick it through. Give a little pause. Come back to the center. Kick it through. Give a little pause. Come back to center. Kick it through offside. Come back to center. A good option for you. Can't kick it through. All right. Good option would just be holding a bear plank position. Squeeze that core for 20 seconds. We'll get a 10-second recovery. You're going to flip it around to your back. We're going to go single leg B up. So you're on your back. You're driving up. You're trying to get to that toe or that shoelace, and then you're controlling down. A good option for that one, just don't go up as high, right? You can try to tap that ankle or tap that shin, all right? Four minutes, let's go finish and stay strong. Here we go.
How you finish a workout is more important than how you started. So finish strong. Orange Theory, Coach Beth back again to take you through that well-deserved four-minute flexibility block. We're going to start with our first exercise, which is a standing cervical half moon. So I take my chin down to maybe my right side, and I'm really just going to go slow and controlled, just making a half circle with that neck. You're going to feel that in that upper back. Just take it very slow. Your heart rate is coming down. This should feel good. Take any tension out of the upper body. So that's gonna be a 20 second stretch. Then we're gonna move on to a single arm overhead side reach lateral flexion. So if I take one hand up and over, I'm gonna feel it right up the right side. Reach nice and tall. Let Again, let your upper body just kind of relax a little bit. Let your heart rate gradually come down even further. And once you feel good in this position, you're gonna move yourself right on over to the other side. Again, holding each position for 20 seconds. You can put a, little, a hand on here for some support. Just feel that nice long stretch. Once you've completed both sides of that, we're gonna to move to the standing straddle stretch. You can stay right where I am. I'm gonna hinge at the hip. I'm gonna to move to one side. I can try to reach my ankle, even my calf, or not even that far. Whatever your range of motion takes you is perfect. Just hold that stretch and let everything release. Nice long stretch in the back of the calf, even that hamstring, a little bit of that glute. And then slowly after 20 seconds, you'll walk it right on over to the other side. Feel that release on the other side. Again, you're not pushing it. Wherever you're holding it is perfect. It can be higher up, whatever works for your range of motion. So the last two are going to be your walking downward dog. So if I get to a position where my knee, my hips are in the air, my shoulder blades are down, I am relaxed, I'm gonna walk those heels up and down. Now as I'm doing this, I'm doing it slow and controlled. I'm not forcing my heels down. I'm feeling that nice long stretch. We're gonna do this exercise for 20 seconds. Once you complete that one, you're gonna head to your final one, which is your book opener. So the book opener, if I'm laying down nice and long, I'm gonna take one leg up. I'm gonna take it up and over, and my arms are out straight, and I'm gonna let the, my shoulder stay on the ground, and as I'm bringing this knee over, I can feel that stretch right down my back, a little bit in my glute, even in my chest a bit. So I'll hold this one again for 20 seconds, and then I'll just nice and easy, come back to the starting position, and then take the other knee up and over. Now your flexibility will be different on each side. Don't force it, just allow your body just to fall into it nice and easy. 20 seconds again, those are your four exercises. So Orange Theory, you deserve a nice four minute flexibility so you guys can get started. Can it be done?
Best believe. Best believe I know it's real. I've seen it with my eyes. Best believe. Best believe I know it's real. I've seen it with my eyes. Best believe. Best believe I know it's real. I've seen it with my eyes.